What have you already survived in this lifetime? I bet the answer is probably a lot of things. Sometimes we get busy in life and we forget to look back at how much we have been through and how we have survived and we've grown from those experiences and we're still alive. You are stronger than you give yourself credit for. I'm Sage, I'm a growth coach and the topic today is don't forget how far you've come. Why is it important to use your past to remind you of how far you've come? Well, it really shows us how strong and capable we are. Gosh, especially in those early years of our lives. Like, um, I, I don't know anything now, let alone back when I was 20. I definitely didn't know anything, but I still managed to survive some really yucky stuff. It also reminds you of what strategies you've learned to survive in the past. You come up with some stuff, I know you do, when the going gets tough and you figure out a way to survive. So retain those strategies. Also, it helps build confidence and faith and a whole heck of a lot of grace. And I don't know about you, but I could use consistently more of all of those three things. Confidence and grace and faith. Yes, please. Yes, please. So here's a couple quotes. Remember how far you've come, not just how far you have to go. You are not where you want to be, but neither are you where you used to be. Rick Warren. Also, take pride in how far you've come. Have faith in how far you can go. And don't forget to enjoy the journey. Michael Josephson. A couple questions for you today. What situation is currently make you, making you feel inadequate or insecure? Any chance that maybe, just maybe, you could use the past experiences that you've had to boost your confidence and energy? I've got you. I got four today. Four ways to use past experiences to not only survive, but thrive in current ones. Number one, identify your strengths. Figure out what tools you already have in your toolbox. Okay, open up the toolbox. Oh yes, I have some of this. I have some of this. I have some of this. And start there. Build your foundation. Number two, connections and resources. What old contacts or connections or resources could you still access? Make a phone call, send out a text. There might be somebody from your past that can help you with this exact same situation. Number three, confidence. Remind yourself how you survived last time and use that to build momentum. Which ties closely to the next one, which is faith. Remind yourself of how strong you really are and ride on the wings of faith. Sometimes we got to let go a little bit and ride on faith. So circling around, don't forget how far you've come. Which one of these four from the list resonates right here in your heart? I've got your intention for today. I am strong and capable and can handle whatever life throws at me with ease and grace. Thanks, growth peeps. I'm Sage. I'm a growth coach. And I just am so grateful for every minute you spend with me because oh, this growing thing isn't easy. And I, I can 
really appreciate when you step up to the plate and grow with me. I see you. Thank you. Join me at Sage Robinson Miller on YouTube or Growing Sage at Facebook or book a session and I will help you through some of these processes by walking next to you. Have a great day. I love you.